Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Teddy Wesnepe, as you know. And yeah, I'm glad to be back. It's been a minute, I think about two weeks <laughs> or a week, maybe two weeks. Yeah, two weeks, I think. So what had been happening within or between or during the time is that I, it was my birthday on the 14th of March, which was the first week and yeah so on my birthday actually the day before my birthday i went out with some friends we went to a place called the truffles the truffles <laughs> very cool place in santon you should go there like the food is just amazing there was about six of us and every single person that ordered had like a good meal you know what i mean like it was good you know when everything not like they do just meat right they do everything right so you probably try it after this obviously after the quarantine one of the things that you can do <laughs> and yeah and then on, on saturday which was my birthday on the 14th um we had a dinner a family dinner at home where my mother-in-law actually cooked for me amazing right it's nice to have a mother-in-law that can cook for you <laughs> and yeah so she cooked for us for me well for my birthday and then everybody came and then yeah we had a very nice time then on Sunday, we went to church, came back. Then this whole thing started, right? Literally on Sunday, there was news on um, Ramaphosa was speaking, President Ramaphosa <laughs> was speaking on the news and he was like, yo guys should, you know, stay indoors and you know, this is what's happening. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is happening? And people started panicking that week. I remember it was week of the 16th. A lot of people started panicking. Then there were rumors about how we're going to go um, in quarantine like we are now. But like people were just, you know, it was rumors at the time. And people were scared. They were like, what is this lockdown going to mean for us? You know, won't we be able to? So people went shopping like crazy that week. I remember that. People, macro, um, game, all of that stuff. They were closed. Not closed, but they were full. And people were buying like crazy, right? So that's the week of the 16th. And... I was going to work like normal, <laughs> you know, and there was a communication from our management at work at around Tuesday and maybe Wednesday. So Tuesday they told us to expect communication by Wednesday and then Wednesday or Thursday then they said, guys, this is what's happening. Actually Wednesday then they said, guys, this is what's happening. Please could you sort out your stuff because we want to be able to work from home, right? So there's a lot of things because we work with the servers and the whatnot, so things that you have to sort out at work before you can actually go and work from home you know what i mean so that you don't struggle when you're home so that was me i had to sort things out i did i sorted a few things out i you know like i i called the it guy i was on phones with the it guy the whole time and then he was fixing things and installing things and all of that stuff also my computer is quite new so <laughs> you know i didn't have a lot of things set up already so yeah, then after that, on Friday was my last day at work, and then I came back home. Monday from the 23rd, I think it was the 23rd, I worked from home, right? And how did that go? So, um, Monday was very busy because I think a lot of people were still panicking and a lot of people were working from home for the first time that week, right? And I know a lot, of, a lot more people started after the lockdown was announced and they said, okay, on the 26th or something like that, then people will work from home or on the 20th, whatever. Like on a Thursday, no, on Thursday midnight was the last day and then Friday people started working from home. That's when the lockdown started, right? So I started mine on Monday already. <laughs> so how that went, Monday was okay. I thought this was great because I've always wanted to work from home. But um, I didn't realize the amount of work working from home is because you go through a lot of meetings, you know, like Skype meetings and you're calling these people and they're calling you and everybody wants to know that you're not, you know, these video calls and everybody wants to know that you're not like sleeping. I think internally somewhere deep down in their hearts, like management wants to know that their people are not, you know, sleeping on the job. <laughs> so yeah, it was actually interesting. Um, but I enjoyed working from home. Um, I think the most stressful thing about it is that it's home. It's your place of, I mean, for me, home is, I don't normally, I normally don't bring work home unless if I have to, which doesn't happen a lot. But like, 
yeah i normally don't bring work at home because i want home to be a place that i come to relax and this is my best place like my favorite place ever like i don't want to you know i don't want to just because it's it's all in the mind like there's nothing wrong with offices if you think about it it's just that you think about what happens at the office that's what's wrong right <laughs> and maybe the people as well but mostly what happens at the office your your work and the things that you have to do and you're thinking oh, i have this and that and the meeting and the what what and the what what so if you're bringing all of that to your house your house might just end up becoming that place too which is what scared me but actually monday tuesday was busy for me wednesday started quieting down so then it became like home you know <laughs> no, like a normal home thursday also very quiet um friday extremely quiet but like i'm hoping that things will pick up a little bit next week but like you know things were not as busy as they were on monday i would definitely go mad if things become as busy as they were on monday next week okay so anyways let me not waste your time and tell you all the things that i've been doing to keep sane <laughs> right um so i started off with screen cleaning my house that's the one thing that I did. I've always said I'm gonna do it and I didn't do it. And this one time I just did it, you know? And it felt so good, you know? My house smells good, it smells fresh. Oh, it smells like lemon, which is amazing. <laughs> it's great. And then another thing that I've been doing, oh, I've, go I've been going through my books. Um, I've been going through my books and magazines. Actually, I'm reading this one book right now, Helen Kevill this one i don't know if you can see it but it's actually it's quite a cool book really 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 cool um i marked it with a pencil where i am because i don't want to bend the pages or anything like that and i don't have a bookmark so i'm using a pencil <laughs> but yeah this is my book right now mandy's such a cool um, writer and yeah she does a very good job with the writing really because she she takes you through um you know the history and what's happening so that you can understand the mining world before you can understand how Kevil died or why Kevil needed to die in his own you know mind anyways then i've been reading my magazines um family magazines definitely gossip magazines drum you you know you being the international version of drum drum being the south african version of you <laughs> but yeah and like woman in home some deco magazines, all of that stuff, and True Love, I love True Love, the lady, the white version of True Love, in my opinion, but all of that stuff, I love all those magazines, and, and, um, this health, uh, women's health, women's health, I have it here, but this is men's health, just my husband is not reading it, anyways, women's health, and it's quite cool as well, another thing that I've been doing, playing board games with my husband, yay, <laughs> that's nice, because my husband is not the kind of husband to let you win. You have to win. You have to win yourself. If you don't win, yeah, you, you know that you, yeah, if you win, you know you won. You know what I mean? So my husband is that guy. And it's quite cool because last night I won a game of Monopoly, which has never happened in the history of playing Monopoly with him. So for the first time it happens. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself right now. Feel great um and some other digital games you know on his phone i personally don't have uh, games on my phone but he does on his phone so i play with his phone and what else i also play some whatsapp group messages or games you know those way and um, they send like you know i'm actually very active now on whatsapp groups i used to not be active at all i just see what's happening and be like oh it doesn't need me okay what's happening oh okay you know but now i'm very active you know i communicate all those things which is quite cool and i play the games that they play sometimes when i do catch them sometimes i don't catch them because i'm not on my phone <laughs> at the time and what else um oh i made ginger beer which is quite cool i've never made it in my life so this is quite cool that i made it um yeah i've always had the ingredients but I never actually made it. I've had them since my traditional wedding last year, September. So yeah, I'm glad that I actually did it. My husband says it, ta it tastes divine. And my husband, by the way, is the kind of guy who tells the truth, nothing but the truth. If something doesn't look good, he says it doesn't look good. If something doesn't taste good, he says it doesn't taste good. So when he says something is good, something looks good, something tastes good, I trust him because I know he wouldn't lie to me <laughs> or, you know, 
He doesn't buy face. <laughs> so I like that about him. Same as when I win, I know that I won. You know, I deserve to win. And lastly, guys, I've been praying. Um, I have goals that I've set for myself this year. Maybe I'll share them with you guys at the end of the year or next year. I don't know. But maybe I'll share them with you guys when I feel ready. But I have goals that I've set for myself and I've been praying for them. I believe that everybody should do that. But nobody can ever convince me that prayer doesn't work. Prayer works for everything, everything, whatever you want, no matter how big or small or ridiculous it is prayer works you know and yeah so pray pray a lot and read the bible and yeah um that's what i've been doing and i think i will share my goals with you at the end of the year i think so i just you know i'm not a big believer in sharing goals talking about them to people <laughs> i talk about them to god and to my husband that's yeah those are the people that i tell anything and yeah when it's done then i'm like yeah tick tick <laughs> so i'm so glad that you joined me um i hope that you are staying safe keeping yourself healthy staying indoors and just keep yourself away from a lot of people stay with your family talk to your family stay with your family talk to your family and please please be safe for not just for you but for your family as well because when you go outside you don't know what you're gonna pick up and you're going to come back in and then your family's going to be comfortable with you and then what's going to happen you don't know okay so i think it's better safe than sorry love you lots bye